Another tribute to the late Satoru Iwata. I know some people are getting sick of these, but I finally felt it necessary to talk about this, so I'm going to talk about the impact he made on my own life. I've never been good about funerals and deaths and such, so I'm going to keep this brief. When I first saw the link to an article about Iwata's passing on Facebook, I thought it was one of those clickbait links that were fake. But, lo and behold, I was tragically wrong. Iwata has been an inspiration with his attitude towards gaming and wanting fun above all else. Others in the industry, and fairly pretentious critics, think we should be above fun. But Iwata, and Nintendo as a whole, stood firm knowing that if people didn't like the way they had to push buttons to play a game, they'd be better off watching a film. One of the major reasons I respect Iwata so much is because of that desire for players to have fun. From 2004 to 2011, I was in a really dark place in my life. I won't get into the details here, but it suffices me to say that I was feeling high levels of anxiety and depression, to the point where I almost ended up offing myself. Then, after I was reintroduced to gaming, I fell in love with my Nintendo Wii. Games like New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and the newer Mega Man games, and the newer Virtual Console titles, consoled me, numbing my pain. On the handhelds, things got better. I loved my DSi and all the games I played on that. Yes, Iwata may have not been directly involved with many of the games I played, and yes, I know numbing emotional pain may not be a good way to handle it, but his work still helps me to this day. Through Iwata, we are able to legally play Earthbound for the first time without breaking the bank by buying a copy on eBay. After it was released, I beat it all the way through for the first time and consequently fell in love with the Mother series. His work with the GameCube, the Wii, the Wii U, the DS family, and the 3DS family have shaped me, no, shaped all of us into the gamers we are today. And yes, I feel guilty about being one of those included in having the last word said to Satoru Online was that Nintendo's last E3 was terrible. As some of you have so kindly pointed out in the past, yes, I am a Mormon. And while I am no judge of where Satoru Iwata's spirit may be now, I pray that he finds peace wherever he ends up. I am no judge of his spirit, but I can only hope he finds comfort in the fact that he was able to bring joy to so many across our planet. I miss you. That's it, and I'll see you all when I can.